Let's dive into best practices for administering pages across our studio. We'll cover keeping things more visual, leveraging views for different workflows, project versus global pages, page and view permissions, publishing pages, leveraging Shotgun's built-in navigation tools, managing pages from the pages area of Shotgun, and iterating over time. In general, it's best to keep pages simple and visual with more pictures and fewer spreadsheets. Entity pages come equipped with three views, detail, thumbnail, and list view. Thumbnail and detail views are a great way to see information more visually, so saving these views as the default will give our team a more visual experience. Then, we can always switch between the views from there, depending on our needs. Along with page view settings, we can also add new views to pages. Great for different workflows. Creating a baseline layout for each department works really well. Once the base is there, we hand it over to a shotgun lead from each department where they can customize as needed. This gives everyone a great starting point with a level of consistency and makes it easier to communicate best practices with examples. For instance, we keep the same core fields displayed on shots, thumbnail, shot code, type, status, description, cut in, cut out, and then the departments can add any fields from there to customize. This makes it much easier for artists and production to jump between departments since there is a common set of visible fields. There are two kinds of pages, project pages and global pages. Project pages only show information in a given project, while global pages show information in all projects. We can create both project pages and global pages from all pages and the project's pages gear menu. We can also create them from the global new menu by selecting N on our keyboard, then P for page, and enter. Since we are creating a page in the context of our signal project, Shotgun will automatically add signal as the project. We can simply clear that field to create a global page. If we're creating a new page from a global area of Shotgun, like the projects page or people page, we wouldn't need to make this change. We have a request from our team to create a global task page so our producers can see a list of all tasks and all projects listed together on the Gantt. So let's create a global task page and call it Global Tasks with a description. They'd like to group by assigned to so that they can see each person's workload per project. So let's adjust the layout. Now that this is looking good, let's save the page and share it with our producers. Note that global pages start as private by default, while project pages are open to everyone. We can share this global page via design page mode and the page tab and the shared with setting. We can also control the visibility of pages by permission role, which we'll do here, making it only visible to admins and managers. Likewise, we can control view visibility via the View tab if we have multiple views. Before publishing a page, we recommend experimenting with private pages and then only publish what's meaningful. It's also a best practice to limit the number of pages we publish while trying to stick to project landing pages and custom views on those pages instead of one-off page publishes. Now that we have both global pages and project pages, how can we find them? When we navigate to All Pages, we see categories for My Pages, showing us a list of favorited pages, recently viewed, and personal pages. Under All Pages, Recent Project Pages Visited, which can be modified to show us more projects, and then Global Pages. As we can see, our Global Task page falls under here. We can leverage Shotgun's built-in navigation via this global All Pages dropdown. And we can also browse landing pages through a project via the project dropdown. 
When in a project, we can customize that project's navigation for important pages that our team frequently visits, and then use the other drop-down to access other project landing pages not displayed in the navbar. Note that as a best practice, we recommend keeping the project navigation as trim as possible and accessing other pages via the other drop-down or favoriting pages for easy access. Lastly, we can see and search all pages we have access to via the Projects Pages drop-down too, which contains custom pages created by people in the project. As admins, we often want to see all pages listed with metadata. To access all pages, we navigate through the Projects Pages or All Pages drop-down gear menu and select Manage Pages. Here, we can see a list of all pages on the site with any metadata, like descriptions, who created the page, and if the page is shared or private. We can also control where the page appears in page dropdowns by adding folder structures. It's important that we hear feedback from our team and departments and iterate over time as our projects evolve. Our iteration cycle can manifest in a number of ways, like Maintaining a solid project template for each type of project our studio works on regularly. Keeping them modern and clean. And taking time to clean up old or unused pages at the end of each project. That way, when it's time to start a new project, we'll be fully prepared and ready to run with production.